despite the fact that I have left my native homeland and moved to the other side of the planet, I feel something of a responsibility to apologize on behalf of the British people for the actions and verbiage of Lenny Henry. This is a man who has made himself an outstanding career of First of all, making quite inappropriate jokes as a character called Theophilus P. Wildebeest, parlaying that somehow into becoming an ambassador of charity for the UK and Africa, getting knighted by the bloody queen and still complaining about racism everywhere he goes. Seriously, the guy needs to learn to shut his mouth. He's not even a big character in Lord of the Rings, the rings, the rings, the rings, the rings of power. Hello, welcome back to Will of the Fans. My name is Will. Once again, sorry for Lenny Henry, and if you're enjoying my content, please subscribe. Let's go over to Bounding Into Comics and have a look at this new article. The Rings of Power star Lenny Henry implies critics of Amazon's race swapping are racist. They have no trouble believing in a dragon, but they can't accept that a black person could be a hobbit or an elf. Okay, um, that's not exactly what the problem is here, and you freaking know it. Let's be real. No one cares about black characters in things. Why did Black Panther do so well, despite the fact that it was a mediocre Marvel offering? Why did no one have a problem with Blade? You know, there was a whole trilogy of them, and people loved them. There's no problem at all. People didn't have a problem with Luke Cage. People didn't have a problem with any of these kind of characters. The only ones that they have a problem with are when you take something that was established as one way and you change it. And Lenny Henry has very vocally said, just last week, I did a video about it. Well, if you don't like the fact that there are black hobbits, tough, we're writing the story now. He literally boasted about how they are changing Tolkien. And now that people are able to say what they think, oh, you're all just racist. No, it's because of your flagrant, disingenuous bastardization of a classic work of uh, fantasy literature. If you can't deal with people not agreeing with you, don't be a celebrity. Like so many, whoa, what happened there? Like so many before him who have defaulted to the same tired excuse in order to defend any number of live-action Hollywood adaptations from criticisms against the given project's bastardization, thank you, for of its source material, series star Lenny Henry has dismissed critics of The Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power's race swapping of J.R.R. Tolkien's original creations as nothing more than racists who can't handle the idea that a black person could be a member of the court, or a hobbit, or an elf. You're wrong. You're so wrong. It's got nothing to do with that. First of all, yeah, dragons and hobbits and all kinds of creatures, totally believable because it's part of the universe. Black hobbits, not part of the universe. Do you see what the pattern is here? Because seriously, there is a little bit more to it than just hating the color of people's skin. You'll find that invariably, people on our side of the argument couldn't give a toss about somebody's skin color unless it becomes something politicized and ruins a property that we love. In actual fact, we couldn't care less. Not at all what color you are. I don't care. I'm an expat. I live in a country that's nothing like a white country. That's a fact. If I was a racist, I couldn't possibly do that. Use your brain. The comedian who plays the non-Hobbit Hobbit, Hobbit <laughs> set up burrows in Amazon's multi-million dollar swing and a miss, I love this website, offered his thoughts on critics on the series changes to Tolkien's dutifully and explicitly crafted world during a recent interview given to IGN. Prompted to address the subject by GQ associate digital ed editor Ben Allen's inquiry of what made you want to get involved in the Rings of Power, Henry bluntly began, I love fantasy. Yeah, do you? Do you love the fantasy that anyone cares what you think? I've been reading comics since I was nine, he recalled. Tolkien was from Birmingham, and the Shire is based on the Licky Hills in Birmingham. It all feels like something to me. Right, great, yes, it was also based on such an environment several hundred years ago, but with magic. And the man who wrote it has full editorial control over what color people are in his world. If Marvel can have Wakanda, why can't we have Middle Earth? Whatever. 
However, despite... Good God, this thing's behaving really weirdly today. However, despite feeling this connection to the Lord of the Rings, Henry then noted that often when you're watching these things, you don't see yourself as a black person, but what's interesting about this being told from a 21st century... <gasps> oh, you didn't. You didn't say current year, did you? Ugh. Things are being configured, and I liked that. I agreed to be in the show because maybe some kid will be watching this one day and they'll see co-stars Ismail Cruz Cordova and Sofia Nonvet and they'll see me and go, yeah, I can wield a sword, yeah, I can rock a bow and arrow. This is a groundbreaking moment. No, it's not. And what you are basically saying here is that black people, plenty of whom have been Tolkien fans for a very, 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 very long time, couldn't possibly see themselves as an elf or, a, or any other creature, whatever they want, with their imaginations until you came along and put on a stupid white wig and pretended to be three feet tall. Sorry, mate. No, not buying it. Sending it back. Waiter, check please, I'm done here. Let me know what you think in the comments section about this ridiculous farcical rubbish. And uh, like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel, thank you very much. I'll be back soon with another video for you, but until then, see you next time.